Welcome back. We are here on eToro looking at the commodities market and the precious metals market. And this is going to be my daily forecast for Tuesday, December 15th, 2020. If you'd like to support our channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner, hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos. And you're welcome to join us over at Patreon, where you can get full access to our technical analysis, our signal service, and also our online trades and courses. So we'll start by looking at the US dollar index. And as you can see, we rallied a little bit earlier in the session and then completely collapsed all the way down to 90.32. And it hasn't been this low for a very, very, very long. We can scroll all the way back towards uh, 2018. This is basically where we were, um, or 2017, 2008, 2017. So two years ago we were this low in the us dollar index and it had a major effects for example on on oil market or on, on oil so oil rallied significantly today and then it broke down again but it is very likely that we're just going to see more of the same every single time we get close to that 20 exponential and we basically go down from here so technical indicators for the us dollar index are still looking very dire the macd did not cross the signal line is most likely going to turn around here the stochastic has turned around the cci has turned around and so has the rsi so it is likely that we are going to see just more of the same every single time we rally up towards the 20 and then we basically break down if we manage to take out the 90.32 then we're heading down to 90 and that will have uh positive effect on gold, um, most commodities, and also indices. So let's look at oil. As you can see, we rallied all the way up towards 47.42, then broke down to, to 45.86, and then we are landing at 46.99, almost at 47, nearly that. So the session is nowhere. But we have been all over the place today. We are still trading, we're still bullish in this market. Every single time we get close to that uh, 20 exponential, you can see that buyers come in and pressure this up. So it's just a matter of time before we break these previous highs here and we head towards 50. That is most likely our target for this market. And we are going to see a lot of choppiness uh, um, the next coming days, probably also weeks. If we manage to break the 20 exponential, that's at roughly 44.85. We're heading all the way down towards these previous highs at 33.49. And after that, it is the 50 moving average. And this is probably as low as this market will go. Um, yes, it won't, most likely won't go lower than this. That's where we had these previous highs and we have the 50 and also this area here. So this is going to be enormous support. And uh, yes, there's a lot of um, reason why we shouldn't be here, but we are at this price level. And um, yes, it's not due to demand. Definitely not. Uh, there's uh, coronavirus still uh, reaching, wreaking havoc on Europe and the United States and production is not as high as it was prior to, to the coronavirus. So this is mostly due to optimism that things are about to change. Things are about to turn around due to the vaccine, stimulus packages in the United States, and also that probably Britain and Europe, our European Union, are going to uh, make a deal. Uh, so it is basically made, based on optimism. But I think that the real selling will occur when we get to 50 and it's going to be a lot of choppiness going all the way up to the 50 but pullbacks towards the 20 at this point they are actually buying opportunities so let's look at natural gas as you can see we have gone up towards the 20 exponential moving average and this is just more of the same this is high is very likely that we'll turn around from here if we break the 20 exponential, then the 50 is here at the 2.9. Um, this 
it depends on the weather conditions, uh, whether or not it um, weather conditions are going to get significantly colder. If they are, then this could skyrocket um, all the way to the very highs. That is possible. But at this point, the way this is behaving is that we have a massive fall, a rally towards the 20 exponential, hang around there for probably three trade sessions, break down again, rally up towards the 20 exponential, break down again, and then rally. So it is fairly likely that we're gonna, just going to see more of the same. And that if that is the case, then we're heading all the way down to 2.2. So if we see similar pattern here of hanging around for three to five days and cannot manage to break through the 20 exponential, then watch out below because we are going to take out these lows and going to head towards the 200 moving average. So it is to be seen what happens the next three, two, three, five trading days if we don't manage to break out through this level. Technical indicators otherwise for the natural gas are looking promising. Stochastic is bullish, the CCI is bullish, and the RSI is also bullish, and the MACD is about to cross the signal line. But we have been here before, for example here. It also looked really promising here, but we had this massive fall all the way from 2.9 down to 2.37. So let's look at gold. So gold is also just more of the same, uh, the same pattern that we have uh, been trading in for a really long time now. The 50 is significant resistant. The 20 is fairly amount of resistant, but the 50 is basically where the, this market targets and then breaks down. So we rallied here to the 50, broke down, rallied to 50, broke down, rallied above the 50 and then collapsed. Rally up towards the 50 and then broke down again. And now again towards the 50 and broke down. So at this point, we have this upper trend line, which is acting as major resistant. So we haven't even got close to that trend line in recent days. We got close to that one, one month ago, one and a half month ago. This was basically in the beginning of, uh, of November. And then we basically were overbought here and then just collapse. You can just see how this, this, the spike in the CZI and also the stochastic, how how fast this changed from bullishness to, to bearishness. bearishness. So this time we rallied up towards the 50 and then broke down again, but this will most likely be the floor. It is highly unlikely that we are going to break the 200 moving average again, because underneath that we have this support line. So if we were to break the 200 moving average, we would run into this support line here and then we would rally again. So it's highly likely that we'll just stay in between the 50 and the 200 for the foreseeable future until we get into this corner and then we'll rally to the upside. There is going to be stimulus at some point. So when that happens, we are going to see a rally in gold. That is what has what well, most of this move here was based on exponential movement monetary policy from the Federal Reserve and also uh, stimulus uh, package from the from the uh, from Congress. So if we get another stimulus, then we, it's very likely that we are going to see this market rally. We haven't basically had a stimulus in this period here, so it has been basically lying on the desk in the in the US Senate and nothing has basically happened since then. But at some point they have to um, have to um, uh, pass a bill otherwise they will run into far more um, far bigger problems with the US economy if they don't support um, the US economy. So this is most likely what is going to happen. Breakdown towards the 200 moving average is buying opportunities. Um, rallies towards the 50 are selling opportunities and if we get to these two resistant and support areas that is probably the best uh, chance you can get in order to buy and to sell this. So let's look at wheat. So wheat market rallied significantly last week. We went all the way from 566 up towards 
eight, no, 618. And today we rally, started rallying again and then just collapsed. Now we're heading towards the 20 exponential moving average and you can just see these technical indicators, they have all completely turned around. Uh, the MACD is flat, stochastic is flat, the CCI is bearish, and so is the, CC, uh, the RSI. So if you manage to see that the, uh, so, uh, the, 200, the 20 exponential moving average is uh, supportive, then there's probably a market here to buy. So we got way ahead of ourselves here last week when in this rally, it stalled, collapsed, if we can get some kind of um, of support here, then it's probably um, a buying opportunity to take out these highs and also the very highs. But break below the 20 exponential opens the door to 567. Break above these uh, candlestick here opens the door to 636. So hope you find this helpful. You're welcome to support the channel by subscribing. Hit the like button, the bell button to see our newest videos. And you're welcome to join us over at Patreon where you can get access to our full technical analysis, our signal service, and also our online trading and trading. So the link is down below. Good luck and thank you very much.